Hello everyone, welcome back to Visualverse. I'm your host Arun Prakash. In this video, we are diving into something really exciting. Creating a beautiful explainer animation scene using just Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. So let's get started. First, open your browser and head over to freepick.com. This website is a gold mine for free vectors and design assets. For this tutorial, I'm using a specific vector design that you can download for free. The link to this asset is provided in the description box below. Make sure to download it. And while you are there, check out the curated photos and assets created by me. You can support this channel by downloading them as well. And don't miss out on my brand new Lightroom preset pack featuring 5 premium presets at affordable prices. For those who want to take their skills to the next level, please visit my Patreon page to support the channel and download this After Effects project file to practice along with me. Once you have downloaded the asset, you will find an EPS file included. Open this file in Adobe Illustrator. Now before we jump into animating, we need to make some changes to this file. The first step is to separate each element you want to animate into its own layers. This is crucial because when we import this file into After Effects, each object will be imported on separate layers. This makes it much easier to animate and apply different properties to each layer. Start by identifying the layers and grouping them as needed. Here I am grouping layers according to the body parts of the characters and other elements in the scene like the table, chair, metric graphs, cactus pot, laptop, table lamp, books and so on. If the file is very detailed, this process might take some time. So be careful not to mess up or delete anything accidentally. Once you have grouped the proper parts, organize the layers into proper sequence to ensure you haven't missed any vectors. Also remove any effects like shadows, gradients or bevels. Once you are done grouping, go to the layers panel, click the small icon next to it and select the release to layer sequence. This will release all the layers into their own individual layers without having to create new ones manually. Adjust the artboard to 16 is to 9 ratio, which is standard for most video format. You can set the dimension to either 1920 by 1080p for full HD or 3840 by 2160p for 4K resolution, depending on your project needs. Next, go ahead and save the file. To do that, go to File, choose Save As and save it as an .ai file. This will ensure that the layers are preserved when we import the file into After Effects. Now let's switch over to Adobe After Effects. Create a new project and then go to Files and press Import. Or just right click on the project panel and select Import. Navigate to the .ai file that you just saved. When importing, make sure to select the composition written layer sizes to keep all the layers intact. Now you can see the files have been imported, including a composition with the .ai files name. Double click on the composition. Here you will see all the layers that we grouped earlier in Adobe Illustrator. Create a background layer by going to layer and selecting new solid. Pick the color white and rename it to background. Then press ok. To keep things organized, rename all layers according to the objects they represent. This makes it easier to identify which layer you are working on while animating. Simply select the layer and press enter on your keyboard and rename it according to the parts of the character or the items in the scene like the chair, table, cactus pot, metric graph, laptop, table lamp and other elements. Make sure all the layers are arranged in order. Remember, you don't have to animate each and every part of the scene. So avoid being too detailed and don't overdo it. Now let's start animating. Select any layer you want to animate. There are some keyboard shortcuts to keep in mind for faster and smoother animation experience. Press P for position property, S for scale, R for rotation, T for opacity and A for anchor point. Also press F9 to easy ease the keyframes. These are the frequently used shortcuts that will help you to navigate the properties easily. Select the layer and press Y on your keyboard to choose the anchor point selection tool. Move the anchor point of the layer head to the neck where the movement will happen ensuring proper animation. Link the head to the body and move the anchor point of the hand to its shoulder and set the anchor point of the body at the hip. Repeat this process for all the character's body part.
and scene elements like laptop, table lamp and cactus pot, placing the anchor points appropriately. Next, pre-compose the characters part. Select the layer and press command shift C or right click and select pre-compose. Rename the pre-comp layer accordingly and do the same for other elements like cactus plant which includes the pot and leaves. Now visualize how the animation will unfold. For this scene, I have planned for the table, chair, laptop, pot and books to enter from the left side of the frame, while the character and the other elements come from the right. This visualization helps set the stage for the animation. Start with the table. Solo it by clicking the box next to the lock icon, then solo the background layer for the better visibility. Lock the background layer to avoid accidental selection. Select the table layer and press P to open the position property. Move the player a few frames ahead and record the current position by pressing the stopwatch icon next to the position property. Move the player back to the first frame and shift the table to the left out of the frame. Now ramp preview the animation. To add some spice, enable motion blur and easy ease the keyframe by pressing F9 on your keyboard. Continue this process for other objects in the scene like the table lamp and the laptop. Add keyframes to their final positions. Then move to the first frame and make them appear from the top by shifting them along the Y axis. Easy ease the keyframes and offset the layers so that the table comes first followed by the laptop and table lamp. You can also separate the dimensions on the position property by right clicking and selecting the separate dimensions. Adjust the graph in the graph editor to add an overshoot effect before the object settles into place. Now move on to the other objects like chair and books. I'll fast forward through this process. But remember to save your project anytime by pressing Command Shift S or going to the file and selecting Save As. Next, animate the cactus spot. Select the cactus spot composition, double click to open it and press Command K to open the composition setting. Change the background color to white and click OK. Use the region of interest tool to draw the rectangle around the cactus spot and go to composition, crop comp to region of interest. This will help us focus on the object itself. Go back to the main comp, place the cactus spot where it should be. And then return to the cactus comp to animate the leaves using the rotation property. Once done animating the cactus spot, move on to the metric graphs. Select the background layer and the metric graph itself. 
Solo them and move the anchor point of the background where you want it to scale up. Animate the scale property. Starting with the keyframe at 100% scale and then reducing it to 0 at the beginning. Easy ease the keyframes and add a subtle overshoot to the animation. Finally, animate the main character. Open the character composition, crop the composition to the region of interest. Change the background to white, link the eyes, eyebrows, eyelid, mouth and lips to the head and link the other body parts as we did earlier. Animate the character's head using the rotation property. Adding random values to make it look natural. and apply the loop out expression to loop the animation. Next, animate the hand using either a puppet tool or a rotation property. If the puppet tool doesn't work well, separate the forearm from the elbow using mask. Then animate the arms rotation to make the character interact with the cell phone. Add subtle rotation to the upper body to simulate breathing and interaction. After animating the character, go back to the main comp and animate the character's position to make it enter from the right side of the frame. Easy ease the keyframes, offset the animation and synchronize the character's movement with the other objects in the scene to create a visually appealing composition. Now animate the character's facial expressions. Open the character comp, select the mouth layer and move the anchor point near the nose. Add subtle rotation to make it look like a character is thinking. Add 
animate the eyebrows and eyelid to stimulate blinking and adjust the opacity of the eyeballs for a realistic effect. Finally, return to the main comp. Enable motion blur for the all layers and ramp preview the entire animation. Make all final adjustment and change the frame rate to 60 fps for smoother motion. Once you are satisfied, it's time to render the animation. To do that, go to File, Export and click Add to Render Cube. In the render queue, click on the output model and select a format like H.264 or QuickTime. Then click on the output tool and choose the destination folder for your video file. Finally, click render and wait for the animation to render. And there you have it, your animation is ready to be shared on your favorite social media platforms or websites. Thank you for sticking with us through this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out freepick.com to purchase the assets created by me, which supports the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends and give a super thanks to help the channel grow. Also be sure to check out my new Lightroom preset pack, which includes 5 premium presets at affordable prices. Don't forget to visit my Patreon page to support the channel and download this After Effects project file for practice. Until next time, tata bye bye. Thank you.